So, let's see. If we're headed to the Tree Folk Village, we want to head across the South Bridge and then Southwest, yeah? Yep. Once we reach the village, I'll guide you the rest of the way. Ho, oh, ho, spectacular, utterly spectacular. What an incredible achievement. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Kron, and I'm with the Achievement Society. Uh, our organization publicly recognizes those who have done remarkable things. In fact, I am going to recognize your incredible achievement right now with a nice, sparkly medal. Why, just watch how much fun this is. Here we go. Now, on behalf of the society, I'll be opening a branch office right here in town. So, if you achieve, don't forget to stop by and receive. I mean, who even knows what you'll accomplish next? Not me! exercise. So it's back to the Tree Folk Village. I know already! Can't we just like pursue there somehow? Like with a rune lens. A rune lens of pursuing! I know rune lenses adapt their power to a wielder's talents. But I don't know anybody who can use pursuing. If it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Looks like we're hoofing it.
Let's do this. Yeah. Ha! Yeah. What? You will keep me safe, yes? Big mistake. Sullying my blade.
Let's get it done! Doesn't even count as exercise. I just keep getting better. Challenge accepted. The Grey Branches bid you free passage. Go in peace. Eucharist is just up ahead. That Periel girl is waiting for us there.
to grow. We've reached the border of Eucris. So, where is Perry? Sorry, who? Uh, sorry, Lady Periel. Where can we find her? The Eucrisian capital, Haishan. It's on the coast east of here. Okay, let's get moving! Yes! <laughs> 
Feel the imp Big mistake. you get I am grateful for any opportunity to grow
So this is Saishan. Sure is. I'm guessing we'll find Lady Periel either at the palace or the inn. The inn? She booked the biggest room they had. Didn't want to stay at the palace in case the walls had ears. Gotcha. Then let's go find her. Did you just materialize out of thin air? Did I miss... what? Miscalculate? How dare you! That's not at all what I said. You listen to me, Buster. I don't make mistakes, because I'm perfect with a sparkly, pristine capital P. Whatever you think you saw, you didn't, right? I could have sworn you took a spill. I did no such thing! Must I repeat myself? Whatever you think you saw, you didn't, right? Um, right. That's more like it. Don't you ever question a paragon.
Oh there, friend. You like to fish? I'm a fan of the rod myself. I used to love to fish back in my home village, but I don't even own a pole anymore. Shame. Even the greatest fisherman won't be catching much with just his hands. Here, take this one, friend. I can tell you're a good man, cause no bad man's a fan of the fish. Hey, can I ask a favor of you? Sure, friend. What do you need? I'm recruiting new companions for the Alliance. Would you have any interest in joining us? The Alliance. Ah, you're that, Noah. And you're asking me to join you? I hear you, but I don't know how the current flows around that one. Or maybe I do. Tell you what, friend, catch me a wheel eye bream, and I'll sign up on the spot. Catching one of those is a sign of good luck. So if the wheel eye bream are biting for you, it'd be a clear sign of the way fate is flowing. Are you all right? That looks like a nasty... I didn't fall. You skinned your knee. Look. I didn't fall, okay? So... Oh, yeah. That's... That's pretty gross. Hey, you listen to me. My teleportation is flawless. Flawless, okay? Impervious to error, which means you didn't see a thing, all right? All right? Of course you didn't, because I don't make mistakes. Okay, but...
So this is where Peri- uh, where Lady Periel is staying. I have had it up to here with the local aristocracy. It's as though they think of nothing but themselves. Milady, perhaps you might lower your voice? Ugh, why bother? If there are spies afoot, I will happily scream my thoughts into their ears! Ask yourselves this, spies! Which do your masters value more? Their country, or their personal wealth? Now come, Janquis! Sabine, impeccable timing. It's good to see you safe, Perry. And why wouldn't I be? I had my secret passage, remember? Now then, I understand you're doing a fine job with my resistance army. Tell me everything. So that's what you're calling the castle now? You like it? A passable name, I suppose. Milady? I believe it's time. Ah, indeed it is. Noah, come with me. We'll be joining a conference between King Yuma and his Chamber of Lords, strictly as observers, I'm afraid. But I still wish for you and the others to attend me. Save for Jenquis and Sabine, who shall remain here and set up a means to communicate with Emir back at Castle... Castle... Uh, castle whatever. Can't imagine anything more boring than a council, so glad to be counted out. Question you, milady, but would you not prefer me at your side? Do not treat me like a child, Jane Quest. Now, relay my dinner order to the kitchen as we discussed, and tell the cook to use a little spice this time. Sorry. Where are we going, exactly? To the palace! It's on the north side of town!
Welcome, Countess Periel. You may enter. My thanks. What's on the table for this big shindig? A letter has arrived from Dukes Aldric, in which he proposes a new relationship between you, Chris, and Galdia. Which I take to mean leaving the League of Nations and joining the Empire side. Betray the League? What kind of scoundrel would agree to that? Listen to you! You've the fire of a resistance leader already! And you'll soon see for yourself what manner of scoundrel would scheme such a thing. Pray excuse our tardiness. There you are, Periel. We're just, uh... Well, it's good of you to come. Right this way, if you would. Of course, Your Majesty. Ah, Countess Groom. You must be quite the important woman indeed to keep His Majesty waiting. No, no, it's all right. I promised her I'd wait, and, uh... Nevertheless, permit me to remind you of your position. You have been invited here to observe, and only to observe. And who, pray tell, are these people? My humblest apologies, Lord Harlan. If I may, Your Majesty, I would like to present Commander Noah, the young founder of the Resistance Army. Or, nay, founder of the Alliance, a group which seeks to defend the League of Nations from Imperial invasion. The Resistance Army, is it? Um, well, I, I don't... And let me present myself! I'm Leon, and I'm basically his second-in-command. An alliance? Well, that sounds most prompt. Ahem! Let us move on to the matter at hand, Your Majesty. Dukes Aldric of the Galdian Empire seeks an alliance with us, and we must decide if we will accept his terms or no. I believe the Dukes to be a rising star within the Empire, and think there is much we could learn from his bold leadership. I see this offer as a major opportunity for you, Chris. Especially compared to some up-jumped mercenary and whomever else comprises his alliance. Are you mad? This is the same brazen tyrant who invaded Groom! His true intentions could not be more obvious! Countess Groom! May I remind you that you are an observer here and nothing more? I expect you to restrain yourself in the presence of His Majesty. Ugh. Sorry, Periel. Um, but Lord Harlan, I think... Uh, well, 
Maybe there might be some merit to what Countess Groom has to say. Ah, but this is distressing indeed, your majesty. You know I have worked tirelessly for you, Chris, ever since your father sat the throne. Yes. I have long been one of House Sharith's most faithful servants, and yet now you claim to have no faith in my perspective? Never mind that House Fallmire nearly beggared itself to support this country in its year of famine. Take heart, Lord Harlan. King Yuma knows well both our family's loyalty to the realm. I am sure he did not mean to dismiss your many great deeds. No, of course not. We should act in due haste to inform Dukes Aldrich that we agree to his terms. Hold on! Now hold on! You're just gonna surrender to him without a fight? <laughs> Ah, such ignorance speaks volumes about you, boy! No one is saying anything of the sort! Dukes Aldrich has kindly extended to us the hand of friendship and unity. If you would speak of war, then tell me what guarantee we have that Eucris's army would prevail. We cannot permit our great nation to fall while under your majesty's watch. Yes, but... Cassius? You need only to give the order, Your Majesty. And I shall battle the Empire with everything I can muster. And what then, General Cassius? Can you promise us victory? Can you guarantee His Majesty that we will emerge triumphant? The Galdian Empire is more than just Dukes Aldrich. They have the renowned General Goldwyn as well. I would be a poor military man indeed to assure ultimate victory. There, do you see? No assurances. And if General Goldwyn were faced with our General Cassius, would he promise the Empire victory? What? It's a fair question, don't you think? Even the best generals know there are no guarantees on the battlefield. And in fact, they likely know this fact best of all. Of course, all I know of the matter is what I've read in books. General Cassius, however, speaks from decades of experience. But perhaps, Lord Harlan, you have another opinion? Do you believe our esteemed General Cassius is guaranteed to lose? Uh, well, I... Well, Harlan? No! No, of course I don't believe that! But this argument is mere sophistry. It has nothing to do with the topic at hand. Melridge, you were summoned here to draft our reply once this matter was settled, not to sow doubt in his majesty with rhetorical nonsense. 
Quite right, quite right. I do apologize for any confusion I may have caused. That said, there is still time before Duke's Eldrick will expect our reply, and His Majesty seems exhausted. Shall we table the matter for today? But... Your Majesty! Oh, um... Yes, I think so. Let's give it a little more time before we decide. Do you see now what I've been dealing with? It's been an entire week of that. Ah, uh, but aren't you and the king supposed to be friends? Groom and you, Chris, have enjoyed favorable relations for generations. And I visited many times as a child. We are acquaintances of old, but I would not go so far as to say friends. You, Chris, you see, is one of the three great powers of the League, along with Northstar and the Dragon Newt Nation of Kinon. My little groom is of minor significance in comparison. Nevertheless, I am told that at the untimely death of Yuma's father, the Queen hid herself away in grief. And now, Yuma has come to ascend the throne. He and I come from very similar circumstances. Does that also make you similar people? Is that a serious question? Because if so, I may be forced to reconsider my own judgment in terms of letting you lead my army. If I had to sum up Yuma in a word, it would be indecisive. He could end this in a moment if he gave the order to fight. Yet he will not. You think maybe he's afraid to defy that Harlan guy? To be fair, the previous king was quite beholden to Harlan. That is why the man was first given his station. A station he has leveraged for all it's worth. <sighs> anyway, we should not tarry here long before returning to the inn. I have no desire to run into Harlan again. Wanna poke around a little until it's time to go? from the Alliance, right? Uh, don't get me wrong, I, I wasn't eavesdropping on the conference. I just, uh, ha happened to catch that one little part. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, oops. <laughs> Silly me. Um, I'm Yulin, King Yuma's handmaid. So, um, please don't 
think ill of his majesty. I know people call him indecisive, but they've got him all wrong. He's a very kind ruler, you see, and he worries about making decisions that lead to people getting hurt. Where have you been? We should return to the inn at once so I can continue brooding about a solution to this problem. Do you think there even is a solution? Well, I guess we could... Wait, no, sorry, I got nothing. Countess Periel, His Majesty Yuma is here to speak with you. May I open the door? Of course. Please, enter. Hello, Periel. I had a little extra time and was hoping I could see you. I'm most pleased you've come to visit. I only wish it could have been for one of our usual goodwill summits instead of this most unfortunate situation. Oh, um, yes, uh, of course. I'm terribly sorry about your country. Your name is Noah, yes? Did you rise up to fight for Pariel's sake? Yep, it was all for her. Oh, it... it was? What? It so was not! What a big fat liar! <laughs> Just kidding. Well, don't! <laughs> I see, I see. Kidding, is it? Hmm, such a pity. Huh? But never mind that, Yuma. Let me ask you something. Not as the Countess of Groom, but as someone you've known since we were both small. What do you intend to do? Will you fight? Or will you place your trust in Dukes Aldrich? Well, I, uh, I just... The truth is, um, I don't know what the right choice is. If you stay the course your advisors are laying for you, you Chris will be at the Empire's mercy. No, worse! At the Duke's! But if we fight and lose, my people will fare far worse. Perhaps, um, the Duke's made a mistake in attacking your country. If so, you could maybe still... talk it out? Your Majesty, you're gonna be late for your next... Oh, is it that time already? I'm sorry, Periel. We'll continue this later. Countess Grum, Commander Noah, I bid you both good day. Ugh. Same old Yuma, he never changes. 
We need to find some way to help make up his mind. Come on, people. Ideas. Uh, sorry, but I'm not much of an ideas man. Hmm. Nope, still nothing. But let's think while we walk. Maybe some exercise will knock a good idea loose. Not the worst plan I've ever heard. Oh, will I be traveling with you? <laughs>